हेलो एंड वेलकम टू थ्री डॉट ओ टी वी दिस इज पार्वती निर्माण एंड दिस इज द डे टू ऑफ मनी एक्सपो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड राइट नाउ विद मी इज मिस्टर जोशुआ हु इज द फाउंडर एट नेवेस इन्वेस्टमेंट हेलो एंड वेलकम थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर इनवाइटिंग Yeah. So, uh, can you just tell us about your company? What does it exactly do, and how is it in crypto space? So, our project that we have started with is in the decentralized finance space. So, as we all know, that it's hardly been three years that you know we are people are exploring the decentralized finance space. So, what we brought unique over here is the Nevis DeFi Bank, which I would explain to you. Yeah. 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 So Nevis is your surname also. You've you've actually created the company on your surname, right? Sure, sure. So when we were exploring ideas and we came across the ne when we came across a certain concept and you know we went through the formulas back and forth, we knew that this is something really exciting and we were so confident about the entire protocol that we planned to give it our own name. So, uh, which, so Nevis which, is my last name. Yeah, yeah. So which tells me that he's so confident about the technological aspects of the crypto space. Right? True, true. Yeah? Sure. So what is the technological so uh, when we see the uh, the traditional banking system what happens is that they earn from uh, they have a business model where they earn from the difference of interest rates say for example they raise funds through savings and current at 4% and they give it out at 12 to 15% but the decentralized finance space has allowed us to use certain financial instruments wherein we are able to charge a fee We, uh, when the token is traded on the exchange itself so when the uh, token is brought and sold there is a certain fees charge and that fees is added to the uh, treasury in the bank so the model over here is different like you know so we are excited when the stock is traded when the token is traded on the exchange over here yeah okay where is it based at so right now we are based in uh, uh, dubai uae okay, okay. and yeah. how are the crypto regulations uh, coming in place in dubai and globally perfect so what we have understood is that uh, like we all know that you know the 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 central organizations all over the world are trying to understand of uh, understand like you know because the technology is so new they're trying to understand that how should we go around this that you know at the end of the day uh, that you know uh, that everyone's taxed well and you know we are uh, even the governments are making genuine revenue through it so because of uh, no clarity yet and no structure in place uh, i believe that there are clashes that are happening right now but eventually in the future we would see everything falling in place you think india in india the same thing will happen what do you think about 100% 100% so when when we explore the crypto space we realize that you know the market uh, the maximum market is in the age group of 16 to 45 and india is known to have the highest percentage of generation in that age group which we believe that you know are excited to explore the space and uh, we believe that billionaires will rise up in the crypto space fantastic fantastic can you also tell me how are your tie ups with different exchanges so perfect so right now we are uh, uh, we are on uh, pancake swap which is one of the largest decentralized exchange in the world uh, we are in talks with uh, uh, with few exchanges uh, uh, centralized exchanges like uh, coin dcx they will be list listing really soon okay okay that makes me remember one thing actually we have exclusively covered wazirx and uh, binance pad uh, mm -hmm. what are your views on that So perfect. So that that uh, Wazirx is one of the examples where you know uh, the central uh, agents, uh, the central government uh, is some way not understanding. Like you know, like there was some discrepancies happening in the background, but not knowing that who to blame for, and you know, some way Wazirx got caught in all the trouble. Yeah. yeah. So you but think? But we believe that you know the future is uh, the more they understand the system, the more we'll be having clarity on how to regulate it eventually. so the transparency coming in place right? perfect sure yeah yeah so that is something that i think so time will answer these questions yeah yes yeah. yes yes okay and uh, what is the future you see in crypto space in terms of uh, not just at the defi level but the entire technological aspect of it so uh, where, is it, where is it heading so what i have understood is that you know we have almost uh, studied this place like I'm not talking about myself but like you know we have spent 8 hours a day for the last one year in this space and i'm telling you we have not even touched the mountain like there's so much more to it like we believe that you know the more you explore it the more instruments are made available which can be used in a very innovative way and i believe the more people educate themselves in this area the more we will explore it eventually okay. and are you like your company looking at uh, going beyond the finance part like the defi part sure sure you know actually the thing is that after exploring opportunities we found that this makes so much sense i believe that you know the more we push educate ourselves in this area we will explore more opportunities for sure 
and one question actually still actually bothering me because you talked about defi and you talked about how the money will be generated yes. uh what, what i mean if a uh, individual like me would like to you know put in the money how safe is that can you explain it at like a very ground level yeah. is it safe or is it still market related risk yes. are there or yes. other yes. risk are involved so the defi bank uh, there are two aspects to this bank one is a token which is in simple terms like a stock of a bank and then we have bonds which are like a deposits of a bank so right now if you are part of the token yes you will be part of fluctuations you will be part of volatility but if you are part of the bond that is where we are giving you assured returns okay, yes so, uh, and uh, like you know just to make things simple uh, uh, like the buy uh, they Uh, these smart contracts are actually coded on the smart chain so there is not a physical person behind it with actually calculating returns or leaving returns it's it's coded in the system where uh, where everything is processed uh, on the chain itself yeah automatically done automatically yeah true so uh, when this whole thing is coming so you think this is safe so is it because uh, there is some real world uh, asset is connected in this uh, particular scenario so okay fine so the thing is that uh, you use the term stable so yeah, i'm yeah. trying to understand so, like, where is like, it coming from no, let's let's keep it simple uh, so like for example right now we are trading in stocks uh, do we see it in the physical form in any way no we are seeing it in the digital form on an exchange so in the same way i believe that you know uh, like the more we are exploring opportunities we want less paperwork we want to see it more um, uh, more easier to access and i believe digital is the way ahead yeah fantastic yeah. thank you so much thank yeah, you for your time uh, this is 3.0 tv parvati nirvan signing off for now thank you so much keep watching 3.0 tv for all the latest updates of digital space web3 blockchain metaverse and more